the Son of God walked in obedience to the Father. John chapter 4 and verse 34, Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. A very important aspect of the Son of God, of how Jesus walked on the earth as the Son of God, was that he walked in complete obedience to the Father. To the point where one day he told his disciples, the very thing that sustains me, my sustenance, the very thing that fuels me, the very thing that energizes me, my food, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Meaning, I'm energized by this one thing of doing the Father's will, of being completely obedient to the Father and doing what the Father wants me to do. That's what is, sustains me. That's what fuels my life. That's what energizes me, is what Jesus is saying. And so you and I, as sons and daughters of God, as we seek to emulate the Son of God and walk as He walked on the earth with the Father, we must learn to uh, be sustained uh, 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 by just doing the Father's will. The fact that we are doing what the Father wants us to do should energize us, should uh, fuel our lives, so to speak. And that itself becomes our strength and our driving force, our, our energy within us, the fact that we're doing the Father's will. In Hebrews the 10th chapter, verses 7 and verse 9, in both of these verses, the Bible repeats, it says uh, about Jesus, Then I said, Behold, I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me, to do your will, O God. It says, Behold, I have come to do your will, O God. That's what it says about Jesus, that he came to do the Father's will. As the Son of God, he walked in complete obedience to the Father, following the directions of the Father. He walked in step and in time with the Father. You find many times Jesus saying, you know, my time has not yet come. Uh, meaning he's saying, you know, I'm waiting for the Father to give me the okay so that I can go ahead and do this. Whether it was working in a miracle, whether it was going into Jerusalem, whether even it was going to raise Lazarus up from the dead, he was waiting for the Father's timing. He said, the Son can do nothing of himself except what he sees the Father do. He was so committed to doing the Father's will that he, wa he watched what the Father did, what the Father revealed, and then he followed through uh, by acting on that. Now, if you and I come to that place of commitment saying, God, I want to do your will. And you doing your will is what fuels my life. That's the way you and I are supposed to live as sons and daughters of God. As we follow the example set for us by the Son of God. Let doing the Father's will become the very food that's, that, that feeds our inner person. It feeds our spirit. Let's pray. Lord, we ask that you will help us be sustained, be driven, be fueled by the fact that we are doing your will. Like Jesus, help us to say, my food is to do the Father's will and to finish his work. Help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.